Welcome back to another episode of the MGN channel. Today we're going to review a special game which uh, I'm actually addicted to. Now, looking around through Freedom, they have published two games, I believe. There's two games that have been published at the moment. One of them is Dreamscape, and the one which we're talking about is Jetboard Joust. Jetboard Joust is an arcade classic shooter, which reminds me back in the days of uh, a really special game. I'm trying to think about it. What game was it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask the expert of the arcade games who've uh, brought me up, that's for sure. Hey, Dad, are you busy at the moment? You might know. Uh, well, do you remember back in the old arcade days, there's a, there was a shooter game which has a little top map, and you could go around it endlessly trying to save people from getting abducted by aliens? Uh, what game was that called? Cause it, you don't I, Defender, do you? Pardon? You don't mean Defender, do you? Earth Defender? Yeah, and they're flying up, and you got to shoot them down before they go up, straight up. Yeah, so I think it's Defender, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for your help. No worries, son. Sorry, Dad. My bad. <laughs> I had to. So, if, if I wanted to think of what Jetboard Joust is exactly like, or an inspiration, it would be Defender 1981. That classic game was a boss, but also very, very hard. With Jetboard Joust, it brings that kind of Defender style to a modern era, and I tell you what, it is absolutely nuts. So we're going to quickly have a, a bit of a discussion about it, we'll show you some gameplay, and then I'll tell you what I think of it. With Jetboard Joust, you have to fly around, shoot as much energy as you can, and prevent the enemies from capturing the humans, or whatever they are, down at the bottom. And to do that, you just need to go very fast and go completely crazy. If you've got a really good itchy finger trigger, then you'll be definitely up for this game. So we're going to talk about the enemies first, and the first thing about the enemies is they're also on jetboard. Also other m creatures around, flying around, trying to attack you. Uh, there are so many levels. So after each stage, you have a choice. You can either get out of there, or you can take it to the next level by hitting the gate key and opening up to fight the guardian. After you defeat the guardian, whatever you have got in the uh, tomb will be yours. And to say that it would be easy, it gets a lot harder throughout the game. There are many different guardians to fight. And when you get to the point when you finish him off, you go down in there and get your upgrades or anything. However, let's talk about the upgrade system. Uh, the upgrade system is pretty neat. Uh, even when you complete the game, all the coins you've collected at each stage, you can have a chance to upgrade or hold your money for the next stage for another upgrade. Let's talk about the weapons. The weapons itself are pretty cool. My favorite at the moment is the plasma rifle. I, I like shooty fast, straight in the line things. There are many different weapons to choose from. There are weapons like pistols, shotguns, Gatling gun, Uzi 9mm, flamethrowers, grenade launchers, RPG, plasma rifles, pulse cannon, shredders, and there's many, many more. In each world, you'll have to fight a main boss, and to defeat the huge bosses of a series of multi-stage battles, these guys will test your weapon handling. Another cool thing I've noticed when playing the game is the whole scenery, the background changes. It goes from like a sharp old school and it goes from a sharp old school to a much cleaner environment in the game itself. I don't know if that's what it was intended, but it looks really nice. But with each stages, you have these different levels to f go through before you take on the main boss. And you can go to a different directions all you want. It will keep going down, go left to keep upgrading yourself and I will say one thing that these bosses are hardcore they are literally hardcore The only thing I've got to say about it is the mouse and keyboard. Uh, I had to key by my own stuff because the original buttons were just way too confusing for my mind. Um, another thing I would like to say is they should, or they need to have control support. I'd be well happy on that for control support. Uh, another thing I notice when playing the game is, is when you fly. 
whilst you're holding uh, uh, left and down, instead of it just going like a wavy up and down type of thing, which I thought would be pretty cool, it just instantly just drops you, which uh, it gets confusing from time to time. Apart from that, the game is absolutely wonderful. I'm enjoying the heck out of it, and I'm glad I've, I've managed to have my chance to play it. And I think you guys should just check it out as well. The links will be down in the description of their uh, game. And yeah, fantastic game, I would say. It, I enjoy it. I'm going to keep playing more of it. In fact, I'm going to be uh, doing a stream on it soon. And that is about it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching this little review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember, my name's Cornish, and subscribe to the channel. You take care, and have a wonderful day.